Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into the world of Swiss salaries and exploring the highest and the lowest salaries in Switzerland, including the highest paying industries, the highest paying regions, the average salaries, and what to expect from the Swiss job market. Switzerland is known for its stunning scenery, delicious chocolate, and of course, its high cost of living. But what about the salaries? Well, let me tell you, they can be pretty impressive too. So whether you're a recent graduate, a seasoned professional, or just curious about lucrative careers, this video is for you. If you're new, I'm Ashika, and we talk about moving across the world for that job or to study. And with that, let's dive in. Now, you might be aware that Switzerland offers high salaries, but apart from that, let me break down why Switzerland is a brilliant place for you to work. For starters, for positions requiring a high level of responsibility, foreign workers like you generally earn higher salaries than those paid to employees of Swiss nationality, so you can make more money. Secondly, Swiss companies often offer a 13-month pay structure. The 13-month pay is equivalent to an employee's one-month salary. The 13th pay is also paid in December or broken up into two installments and paid either in July and in December. Next, payroll taxes are a lot lower in Switzerland, ranging from about 10 to 15% of your gross salary, which is exactly why Switzerland is such a lucrative place to work. The median full-time worker in Switzerland earns 6,788 francs monthly before tax. The jobs that pay the least typically paid 4,487 francs a month or less, while the top 10% earned more than 12,178 francs. Though something that is a little disappointing is that men still typically get paid more than women for the same roles in Switzerland, which is something I'm hoping will soon change. Now, when it comes to the industries, like with most countries, some industries paid more than others, substantially more. Overall presented, here are the top 10 sectors in Switzerland with the highest paying jobs listed by the gross median salary per month. The tobacco industry is the highest with 13,299 Swiss francs per month, followed by the banking industry with 10,491 francs. The pharmaceutical industry comes next with 10,296, followed by the information technology industry with 9,400, then there's insurance with 9,000, scientific research and development with 8,900 francs, Telecom with 8,900 francs, education with 8,500 francs, public administration and defense with 8,400 francs, legal and accounting services with 8,100 francs. Amongst the mid paying industries were construction with 6,400 francs, air transport with 6,900 francs, machinery industry with 7,200 francs, wholesale trade with 7,400 francs. And when it came to the lowest paying industries, it was retail with 5,000 francs, catering with 4,600 francs, accommodation with 4,500 francs, personal services with 4,300 francs. Now, another thing for you to bear in mind is that it's important for you to know where in Switzerland to look for jobs because there are some regions of Switzerland that pay more than others. For senior management jobs, the median gross salary was higher in Zurich, Lake Geneva region and the Northwest region. Ticino, on the other hand, offered the lowest levels of remuneration, whether it was for senior managers or for non-managerial employees. Now, coming to the highest paid roles in Switzerland, these are some of the roles that will pay you the most amount of money. Starting off with surgeons or doctors who earn anywhere from 264,000 to 776,000 francs. Followed by judges who get anywhere from 175,000 francs to 604,000 francs. Then there's lawyers, followed by bank managers. And then you have CEOs who get anywhere from 132,000 to 420,000. There's also CFOs with 124,000 to 396,000. Next up, there's orthodontists, then you have college professors, pilots, and marketing directors with 94,000 all the way to 300,000. But if you want to get an idea of the roles that pay the least, so you can plan accordingly if Switzerland is the right place for you or not, nursery school teacher assistants earn some of the lowest salaries with 2,800, followed by social counselors, tailors, medical record clerks, housekeepers, preschool or kindergarten nurses, postal workers, cleaners and packers. Now, landing a job in Switzerland as an expat can be challenging, but with preparation and the right approach, it is definitely achievable. Here are some of the tips to increase your chances. Before you apply, research the job market. 
Understand which industries are thriving in Switzerland and align your skills with those in demand. Next, Switzerland has four national languages, German, French, Italian and Romansh. While English might be used in some international companies, fluency in local languages, especially of your target region, is a huge plus to land a job. Tailor your CV and your cover letter to each specific job application and specifically to match Switzerland's practices. Something for you to bear in mind is that Switzerland has stricter regulations for non-EU citizens, so you will most likely need your future employer to sponsor your work visa. I've covered the entire process in this separate video. Now, during your job search, you will want to target international companies. Many multinational corporations have offices in Switzerland. Some of the biggest recruiters in Switzerland are Glencore, Adeco, Credit Suisse, Roche Group, Nestle, Zurich Insurance and Novartis. Look for positions where English might be the primary language and these companies are a really good bet. Next, connect with professionals on LinkedIn from the companies you're interested in and reach out to recruiters who specialize in placing expats. Next, to stand out from the crowd, highlight your experience and your diverse skill set. Show employers how you can bring a fresh perspective and contribute to their global reach. Now, according to research done by one of the leading recruitment consultancies, Michael Page, 70% of job seekers in Switzerland ultimately found their jobs through traditional channels such as job boards rather than directly via social media and LinkedIn counts as social media. However, social media was the key driver at the beginning of their search and in their choice of an employer. Something else for you to keep in mind is that many recruiters will check your social media presence. So it is important to be presentable on social media too and clean up anything you wouldn't want recruiters or hiring managers to see. Next, the cost of living in Switzerland is high, so it's important for you to negotiate a salary that you are sure will allow you to live comfortably in Switzerland. And most importantly, while I have given you an idea of what the average pays are like, research how much you can expect to get paid in Switzerland to give you an idea of how much you can earn versus your expenditure there so you can understand if this is the best move for you or not. Do your research, explore your options and most importantly, pursue a career that you're passionate about and not just one that you're taking so you can move to Switzerland. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more content on your careers. Let me know in the comment section below which country you'd like to see featured next and thanks for watching.